Welcome to today's lecture on glomerulonephritis. Glomerulonephritis is a group of kidney diseases characterized by inflammation of the glomeruli, the tiny filters in the kidneys responsible for filtering blood. This condition can lead to impaired kidney function and, if left untreated, can progress to chronic kidney disease and end-stage renal failure. Glomerulonephritis can be classified into several types based on their underlying causes, histopathological findings, and clinical manifestations. Each type requires specific management strategies for optimal patient outcomes. In this lecture, we will explore the pathophysiology, clinical features, and management of glomerulonephritis, including its various subtypes. Glomerulonephritis can be broadly classified into primary glomerulonephritis, where the kidney is the primary target of the autoimmune response, and secondary glomerulonephritis, where the kidney involvement is secondary to another systemic disease like lupus or diabetes. Primary glomerulonephritis encompasses several different subtypes, each with its own unique pathophysiology and clinical presentation. Some common types include eganephropathy, Berger's disease, membranous nephropathy, minimal change disease, focal segmental glomerulosclerosis, FSGS, rapidly progressive glomerulonephritis, RPGN, and Allport syndrome. The pathophysiology of glomerulonephritis involves immune-mediated injury to the glomeruli, resulting in inflammation and disruption of the normal filtration process. The immune response can be triggered by various factors, including immune complexes, autoantibodies, and direct cellular damage. The precise mechanisms vary among different subtypes of glomerulonephritis. In primary glomerulonephritis, abnormal immune system activation causes the deposition of immune complexes in the glomeruli, leading to complement activation and subsequent inflammation. This inflammation can damage the glomerular basement membrane, podocytes, and mesangial cells, impairing their normal function. Clinical features of glomerulonephritis vary, but can include blood and protein in urine, swelling, high blood pressure, fatigue, foamy urine, and decreased urine output. Diagnosis includes clinical evaluation, blood and urine tests, imaging, and renal biopsy. The management of acute glomerulonephritis focuses on controlling inflammation, minimizing renal damage, and supportive care. In cases associated with infections, prompt treatment of the underlying infection is essential. Non-infectious causes often require immunosuppressive therapy with medications like corticosteroids, immunosuppressants, and angiotensin-converting enzyme inhibitors, ACE inhibitors. Supportive care involves monitoring and managing blood pressure, maintaining fluid and electrolyte balance, and addressing complications such as edema and renal insufficiency. Regular follow-up visits and close monitoring of renal function and proteinuria are crucial to assess disease progression and adjust treatment accordingly. In the management of chronic glomerulonephritis, controlling blood pressure through medications such as ACE inhibitors and ARBs is crucial. Dietary changes and regular monitoring of renal function, proteinuria, and blood pressure are important. For advanced cases, renal replacement therapy may be necessary. Eganephropathy, also known as Berger's disease, is the most common primary glomerulonephritis worldwide. It is characterized by the deposition of EGA immune complexes in the glomeruli, leading to inflammation and renal damage. Clinical presentation of EGA nephropathy can vary widely, ranging from asymptomatic microscopic hematuria to nephritic syndrome with hematuria, proteinuria, and hypertension. Renal biopsy is essential for definitive diagnosis and determining disease severity. Treatment of EGA nephropathy aims to reduce proteinuria, control blood pressure, and slow disease progression. Immunosuppressive therapies, including corticosteroids and immunosuppressants, may be prescribed in certain cases. Membranous nephropathy is a kidney disease characterized by thickening of glomerular basement membrane. It causes proteinuria, hypoalbuminemia, edema, and hyperlipidemia. Treatment involves diet, blood pressure control, and immunosuppressive drugs to reduce proteinuria and preserve kidney function. Minimal change disease is a type of glomerulonephritis characterized by normal appearing glomeruli under light microscopy, with the hallmark finding of diffuse effacement of foot processes of podocytes on electron microscopy. Minimal change disease primarily affects children and is often associated with nephrotic syndrome, characterized by massive proteinuria, hypoalbuminemia, edema, and hyperlipidemia. Initial treatment typically involves corticosteroids, which induce remission in the majority of cases. Relapses may occur in some patients but can be effectively managed with corticosteroid therapy. FSGS is a common cause of kidney disease. It presents with various symptoms, including blood and protein in urine. Diagnosis is made with a renal biopsy. Treatment involves reducing proteinuria and blood pressure, 
and may include immunosuppressive medications. Rapidly progressive glomerulonephritis, RPGN, is a severe form of glomerular disease characterized by rapid deterioration of renal function over weeks to months. It typically presents with nephritic syndrome, including hematuria, proteinuria, hypertension, and rapidly declining renal function. The management of RPGN involves immediate treatment to control inflammation and preserve renal function. Immunosuppressive therapies, such as high-dose corticosteroids and immunosuppressants, may be initiated along with supportive measures, including blood pressure control and renal replacement therapy in advanced cases. Lupus nephritis, a kidney complication of systemic lupus erythematosus, involves immune complex deposition in the glomeruli, leading to inflammation and renal damage. Diagnosis requires clinical evaluation, lab tests, and renal biopsy. Management includes immunosuppressive therapy and regular monitoring. In Allport syndrome, genetic mutations affect the glomerular basement membrane, leading to kidney disease and hearing loss. Symptoms include microscopic hematuria, proteinuria, and declining renal function. Management involves controlling blood pressure, preventing infections, and considering renal replacement therapy. Glomerulonephritis is a complex kidney disease that requires understanding of its causes, symptoms, and management. Early detection and intervention are vital to preserve kidney function and enhance patient outcomes. Stay updated to offer optimal care.